One of two major experimental programs at the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory is being canceled, while the other is slated for expansion and upgrades. The U.S. Energy Department withdrew support for the lab's newest experimental fusion reactor after determining that it could not be completed on time or within budget. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. When construction of the National Compact Stellarator experiment was approved, it was expected to be completed by July 2009 at a cost of $102 million. More recent assessments, with the project well underway, saw the cost rising toward $170 million and the completion date moving out to August 2013. Budget constraints and research priorities shaped the plan announced last week, canceling the so-called NCSX reactor and strengthening support for NSTX, the National Spherical Torus Experiment. The goal of the new reactor was to provide a complementary kind of test bed for experiments in producing energy the way stars do, by fusing rather than splitting atomic nuclei. One key difference is the more complex three-dimensional shape of the magnetically confined gas or plasma in which the reaction takes place. The best understood uh, fusion machines are these things called tokamaks, like the big one that is being built in, in France and, and, and uh, s somewhat quite similar to the, to the machine, the spherical torus at Princeton. It is the world leading facility of this kind and that it uh, is close, closely connected to the science that is needed for ex designing and exploiting uh, the International Thumor Nuclear Experimental Reactor in France. On the other hand, Princeton Research Dean Stu Smith says the Stellarator design is thought to offer advantages in terms of continuous, reliable operation. The lab will carefully preserve hardware, documents, and know-how associated with this Stellarator in case the project is revived someday. In parallel, researchers are looking toward upgrading magnets at the heart of the spherical torus reactor to yield, according to Smith, four times the science. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Plainsboro.